Hello, I'm Igor and welcome to my tech farm. And uh, this is another film and dryer review. And this box is sent to me by iBoss for the review. I already tested their uh, vacuum bags and this USB vacuum pump and I was really impressed that how can be simple uh, thing like, like vacuum bag be improved. And uh, according to specifications, uh, this will be the best filament dryer tested in, on this channel. But those are specifications. I already had some bad experience that uh, specifications are relative is a little bit different. According to specifications, this works on 150 watts power. It uh, can dry two spools at the same time and uh, it can heat up to 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, it has temperature and humidity meter, so uh, according to specifications, really a nice, decent uh, film and dryer. But uh, first, let's see what's in the box. Mm -hmm. Above the tube, there is some user manual. A rollers with the bearings. the cover for the dryer and this is the base and the box is empty let's take a closer look uh, of the top of the box very smart there are holes where the humidity will go out these are exit for the filaments and also we have on the side too there is a humidity meter and there is no cable so it works on one uh, battery here uh, i think it is something like uh, lr44 or something like that according to the size and it shows now it is 51 percent in this room the relative humidity Both the two will be used uh, to connect this uh, cover with the printer, so uh, less contact with the air for, for the filament during the printing. Now this is the base. As you can see it works on AC power. And let's see what's on the sticker. Uh, this is 220 volt version and ah, it works on 100 watts only. Not 150 according to the website. Cyclops or Kiklops. Here I can see a hole, so proper, and there is the heater and a proper fan for the air. Here I will place this roller and uh, let me take off this foil from the display. So there is the display, and uh, probably there is the humid uh, temperature, timer, and buttons up and down to set some uh, values. And I was thinking, what is this part? And uh, then I saw so properly this is a temperature sensor, which is really promising because it measures the temperature here outside and not um, inside the box like other filament dryers. So it will give the more realistic values for the temperature settings. These are the rollers. So here we have uh, ball bearings at the end, and there is some reverse rub, so you can. Okay, so you can <laughs> limit the position uh, of the spool. For example, if you place only one spool, but which is wider, so that's why I will test with this uh, big uh, Prusament spool. <laughs> that was the assembling part. Looks very nice, so I will see uh, how it perform. Let's check the spool sizes. So this is the widest uh, Prusament spool I have and uh, it cannot fit on one roller, but you can use it uh, on this way. You can place here the rubbers so you can limit the walking of the spool on these uh, rollers. That's good because I have several uh, Prusament PTG spools which requires the drying, but uh, I cannot dry them uh, in any other uh, except the Sovol filament dryer and this is the regular thickness spool as you can see it can uh, handle two of these and the distance between ro rollers 
81 or 82 millimeters, so probably 80 millimeters uh, wide spools can fit without any problems. Two 80 millimeter wider spools or one, let's see what would be the maximum, uh, 175 millimeters if you have one big spool. Of course you are limited with the diameter, which I'm not sure yet, let me check. Mm, 245 millimeters. Length of the power cable is 120 centimeters. Okay, let's turn it on. Here I can see the set temperature and there is a timer countdown from the 4 hours from the default. I can set now the desired temperature which is probably 70 degrees maximum. Yes. Uh -huh, I can press again this to confirm. And here I can set the timer, so it's 4 hours now, 5, 6, hmm, the button stuck a little bit, 7, 8, I can even set the minutes, hmm, I can, I think they could round this to the uh, half hours, hmm, this button stuck a little bit. And again, if I press this, then I confirm this. So the, using the menu is very simple. And uh, well, the noise, uh, I can hear a fan definitely. Uh, in box, it is not that loud, but let's check without it. Oh, it's almost no difference, see? Because the fan is somewhere deep inside. Forty degrees Celsius is the minimum. Fan is still working. I turn it off. Uh, I will see uh, when we return off. Ah, okay. Now it's turned off and it's quiet. Now I didn't talk in this video. Why do you need a filament dryer? Uh, it's very detailed explained on the iBoss uh, website. Uh, very shortly, uh, all filaments will absorb moisture from the air but some filaments are not so sensitive to this PLA and ABS for example. PTG, TPU, nylon are, are more sensitive to this and that's why in this experiment I will test with PTG and uh, maybe if the temperature will be big enough I will try to dry a uh, nylon completely. And of course you can dry the nylon in, in oven for example but uh, don't forget from this you can uh, use it uh, during the printing to keep it dry. And I think it's time to start with the drying. And I repeat my classic test for this. So I place here uh, this PTG into water overnight. And just in case, if this filament dryer is so good, uh, I will place this 6 meters of uh, nylon filament. And uh, I will try to do some test prints, uh, try to dry them and uh, test print again. See you in the morning. And now, after uh, 10 hours spent in the water, I will leave them in open air to dry a little bit, and uh, then I will print those test objects for the stringing test. PTG and nylon waiting in a row. So this is the first test object and now same uh, object from the nylon. Crack sounds, boiling of the micro drops of the water. Uh, 
unfortunately I don't have a time lapse of the printing because the battery in my camera died too suddenly so I have to replace it but this is how it looks like so this is the nylon and uh, this is the PTG and now I will dry these filaments and reprint these objects again using the same G code so first I will dry uh, PTG and nylon together I set the temperature to 65 degrees Celsius and the time, drying time is uh, 3 hours, which is recommended on iBoss website, so I will try to follow that. After this, I will take out the PETG and print uh, the test specimens with it, and then I will raise the temperature to the maximum, and left the nylon 12 hours, as recommended on the data sheet of the, on the iBoss website. Uh, I will record the temperature and humidity inside with this Arduino, but only first one hour because after that the temperature uh, stabilized anyway. So this is my test setup. This is Arduino Uno, an HDC 1080 sensor inside. I try to place it approximately where the temperature sensor is, so they should give uh, similar results. And uh, as you can see, the PTG and nylon are together. Uh, try uh, to place them on the roller so they are not touching the base. Here we can see the humidity, which is already going down. And this is uh, recorded from the Arduino Uno. This is extremely promising, so after only 10 minutes of drying, the humidity on these displays is 15%. And according to Arduino, uh, 12, so th that's quite close. And the temperature is uh, 60 degrees Celsius inside. And uh, you can see the sensor is uh, almost on the same location where the integrated sensor inside the Cyclops. And after approximately 20 minutes, 10% here and also 10% in the Arduino sensor. So the relative humidity is accurate and look at the temperature uh, 63 degrees Celsius and I set it to 65 so uh, finally a uh, dryer which uh, is accurate and I can feel a really hot air here on these holes so let me illustrate with this piece of paper now after one and a half hour of drying I will disable the Arduino uh, so, uh, as you can see, this humidity meter looks accurate, it shows 10% uh, now. And uh, according to the HDC 1080 sensor, well, the humidity is 9%, that's completely acceptable, and the uh, temperature is extremely stable, around 65 degrees Celsius, which is uh, set temperature actually. 3 hours on 65 degrees Celsius is finished, and now I'll take out the PTG. And this is first 90 minutes of drying and uh, it's visible that uh, the temperature and relative humidity is stabilized after approximately 30 minutes. In the meantime the dryer turned off. So I will place back the nylon to 70 degrees Celsius and uh, for 12 hours. Seventy degrees Celsius, 12 hours, nail on drying. And now let's print with this PETG. No crack sounds during the extrusion, so that's, that's a good sign. And I will print the same G code uh, like with the previous version. And let's see the difference. And now back to nylon drying. And the starting temperature was uh, 52 degrees Celsius and 13% uh, relative humidity because I opened it to take out the PTG. And I will record the temperatures only uh, maybe one hour. After approximately one hour of drying on 70 degrees Celsius, uh, I can see that the temperature inside is approximately 66 degrees Celsius and relative humidity 9%. According to this uh, humidity meter it is 10, uh, so it couldn't reach the 70 degrees Celsius, at least on that place where the, uh, my sensor is located. 
The drawing is almost finished, only 3 minutes left from 12 hours. Uh, and now I will insert this Bowden tube and prepare the dryer for the printing. Uh, here you can see the temperatures uh, at least for 60 minutes. Uh, the maximum was 67 degrees Celsius. Uh, it couldn't reach the 70 degrees, uh, which was uh, the set temperature, at least on that spot where the sensor was placed, but it was close. There are no correct sounds, so that's a good sign. And now printing with the same G code. Interesting, I couldn't reduce the stringing, but I can see that the quality of the surface is much improved here, but I will compare this on daylight. So the improvement with PTG was obvious, I completely removed the stringing and the quality of the surface is uh, much better. And earlier I did some uh, layer adhesion tests and I know that this dried version is much stronger compared to the, this wet one. Now the difference with the nail on printing is not that obvious. Uh, I couldn't remove completely the stringing, but from this bottom part uh, you can see the difference in the drying. So uh, this is much dried, I couldn't hear that correct sound and the quality of the surface is also improved. Uh, earlier I got some comments that this uh, Gamebird Nylon is not really uh, good constant quality. Uh, probably I will do some uh, nylon compression tests in the near future. Uh, but uh, yes, definitely it looks like this dryer can dry a nylon too. And actually, I notice uh, later now, if I set on lower temperature, this click sound and uh, turning on off is a little bit annoying. I will cut out the part, but you can follow the time here on a stopwatch. And now the conclusions, well uh, I think this is the best filament dryer I tested on this channel so far, but also the most expensive. And uh, yes, it can dry everything from PLA, PETG to I know, TPU, nylon. And usually I end the video with suggestions uh, to a to, uh, manufacturer. In this case it is hard to say, but maybe uh, the noise what I could mention. I heard that click sound, which uh, properly they use the electromechanic relay for turning uh, the heater element on and off. Uh, so it would be better if they could use a uh, solid state relay. It is quieter and uh, longer operation time. And uh, that fan, especially on the lower temperature, it uh, turns on and off uh, every 10-15 no, seconds. And this noise change is really annoying. So it would be better if instead of turning on and off, uh, reduce the RPM. In that case, uh, no uh, annoying uh, noise change and also quiet operation because on lower RPM it's quieter. Uh, I didn't do this in this video that uh, sponge test I usually do because I'm preparing that comparison video uh, where I will compare six filament dryers and there I will do the, the sponge test in the same time with all six filament dryers to compare which one dries better. And uh, uh, don't forget, yes, uh, if you use uh, this coupon code you can get 5% discount and if you share this video on any CD printer related social media and send a screenshot to the iBoss, in that case uh, you can get 10% discount. Uh, I, uh, the details are in the description of the video. Uh, if I miss something, please let me in a comment. Thank you for watching and happy drying.